So let's have some update here on what is happening with crude oil. So we have this recent news, oil dips as weaker demand counters storm Francine right now. Brent is here at 0.67% down, $71.36 a barrel. So let's go over that and we see by Ahmed Ghadar. Oil prices gave up their previous day's gains on Tuesday as a weaker demand outlook offset U.S. supply disruptions from tropical storm Francine and global oil oversupply risks that continue to weigh on the market. As we have seen all the troubles with China, it's been such a major concern and the U.S. economy as well. We now, now we are just waiting for interest rates to come down. We're just not sure about how much that's going to be, but we are all waiting for that. Brent crude futures were down 95 cents or 1.3 percent at 70.89 a barrel by 12.14 GMT. Uh, U.S. West Texas intermediate crude lost 96 cents or 1.4 percent to 67.75 dollars a barrel. Both benchmarks had risen about 1 percent on Monday. So it's it's fact now the whole world has been really very concerned about what's been going on in China. And uh, it's not just the price of oil that's been suffering a lot. So the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, said in a monthly report on Tuesday that global oil demand will rise by 2.03 million barrels per day, BPD, in 2024, down from previously projected growth of 2.11 million BPD. OPEC also cut its uh, 2025 global demand growth estimate to 1.74 million BPD from 1.78 million BPD. And so here we have the weakening global demand prospects and expectations of oil oversupply kept the market suppressed. So there's just too much oil, too much oil right now and we are not sure about the demand. And there's all this whole thing about global warming as well and energy transition and uh, EVs that are definitely taking over. So there's, there's so much here that we have to, to look into. Chinese data on Monday showed consumer inflation accelerated in August to its fastest in a half a year. Though domestic demand remained fragile and producer price deflation worsened. And uh, while data released on Tuesday showed China's exports grew at their fastest in nearly one and a half years in August, imports disappointed against a backdrop of depressed domestic demand. The message from China is simple, but loud and reverberates throughout the globe, said PVM oil analyst Thomas Varga, adding that the country is struggling to encourage spending and boost sluggish demand. So it's not only about, um, you know, just observing here the oil industry in China, but we also have to take into consideration, take into account that China has been really suffering a lot. The their real estate market has been struggling a lot, and um, right now we are having these issues with with oil. But uh, with iron ore, uh, it's been also pretty tough right now. So there's a lot we have to take into consideration here, and we are talking about China, the Chinese economy. Meanwhile, the U.S. Coast Guard ordered the closure of all operations at Brownsville and other small Texas ports on Monday evening as tropical storm Francine barreled across the Gulf of Mexico. Corpus Christi port remained open with restrictions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.